In this video, you're going to learn how to find the area of a segment in a circle, and we're going to go through three examples together. I'm going to show you three different techniques for finding the area of this region here that's referred to as a segment. So let's dive into this video. The first example is a little bit simpler, but what we're going to focus on is finding the area of the sector. Now remember, a sector is like a section of the circle. It's like a pie slice. So we're going to find the area of this pie slice or pizza slice, however you want to say it. Then we're going to subtract off this triangular area right here, and then that's going to leave this region that we want, which is called the segment. Now, segment, that term is a little confusing because when we think of a segment, we think of like a, a line segment, like from here to here. But this, in this case, is really the region here that's left after you subtract off this triangle from the sector. So when we find the area of a sector, there's a couple different ways to do it. One is to use a proportion. The other is to focus on... Uh, this fraction of the whole area. So in this case, we say 90 divided by 360, which is really like one fourth of the area of the whole circle, which we know the area of a circle is pi r squared. In this case, it's going to be pi times 4 squared. So I'm going to simplify a little bit. I'm going to reduce this, like I said, to one fourth. Uh, 4 squared is 16, so we have 16 pi times one fourth. We can do a little reducing here. 4 goes in here once, 4 goes in here four times. So this region here is 4 pi. But now we're going to subtract off this triangle. There's different ways to find the area of a triangle. You can do uh, 1 half base times height. That's probably the one we're going to use in this case because this is just a right triangle. We've already got the base, which is 4, and the height, which is 4. So let's do that. So 1 half uh, base times height. So that's going to be 1 half 4 times 4. That's 16 times a half, which is 8. So this is just coming out to 4 pi minus 8 centimeters squared since it's area. So let me erase the whiteboard. Let's do a little bit more challenging example number two. Okay, let's take a look at example number two now. This one's a little bit different. We've got this central angle of 60 degrees. And so remember, we're going to find the area of this sector, this pie slice, okay? And we're going to subtract off the area of the triangle. Now for the sector, okay, that section of the circle, I'm going to show you a different method here. I'm going to do a proportion. I'm going to say 60 degrees is to 360 degrees as the area of the sector, which I'm just going to call x, is to the area of the whole circle, which is pi r squared, or in this case, pi times 10 squared. So you see how I'm doing that? I'm doing the part to the whole. The sector is the part to the whole area of the whole circle, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce this a little bit. 60 goes in here once, 60 goes in here six times. When I cross multiply, I get 100 pi is equal to 6x. Divide both sides by 6 to get x by itself. We can reduce this a little bit. Let's see, 2 goes into both of these, so it'd be 50 pi <clears throat> over 3. Now that's going to be the area of this sector, but we now have to subtract off that triangle. Now when you find the area of a triangle, there's a couple different methods like I mentioned earlier. You could try to do 1 half base times height. There is another formula. I don't know if you've learned this yet in your class, but if you have like this side here and this side here and you have the angle in between, I like to call this the side angle side area formula. It's 1 half side 1 times side 2 times the sine of the included angle. That'll give you the area of that triangle. But another option is you could actually drop a perpendicular, because this is an isosceles uh, triangle here. You see the radius is 10 in both directions here. And so that's going to bisect the base. It's also going to bisect this angle here. So let me see if I can draw this a little bit larger. I'm going to draw this triangle right here. It's a right triangle. Okay, this is now a 30 degree angle. This radius is 10, which is the hypotenuse. And remember your 30, 60, 90 triangles? If not, you can check out some of my videos on uh, special right triangles, 30, 60, 90. But the side that's across from the 30 degree angle, this is the short leg, it's going to be half of the hypotenuse. So this is going to be 5. And then to go from the short leg to the longer leg, which is across from the 60 degree angle, we take that short leg and multiply by the square root of 3. So it's kind of a nice, quick way of working with the uh, triangle if it's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. But notice that this is actually going to be, the base of this triangle is actually 10, right? So here, let's kind of make it a little bit bigger here. So this base here is going to be 10 times the height times 1 half. So let's write that down. 1 half the base, which is 10, times the height, which is 5 root 3. And this comes out to half of 10 is 5. 
5 times 5 is 25, square root of 3. But remember, we have to do the total area of the sector minus the area of the triangle. So this is going to be 50 pi over 3 minus 25 square root of 3, and that's in inches squared. And that's the area of that segment. So let me erase the whiteboard. Let's do an even more challenging example for number 3. Okay, before I do this last example, I just wanted to say if you're enjoying my geometry videos and you want to learn more with me, I'll put a link in the description below to my geometry course for sale. I've got a course that takes you through a typical geometry uh, class, um, chapter by chapter, all the different topics with examples and explanations, etc. That's one option. Another option is you can join as a channel member at the additional videos level. And I have my full geometry course here on YouTube uh, if you're a channel member at the additional videos level. Also, if you're interested in midterm and final exam reviews, I've got that on that additional videos level as well as a channel member, uh, as well as my ACT and SAT uh, video courses and midterm and final exam reviews and more. So you can check that out if you want to become a member and support the channel. I appreciate you guys. For number three now, we've got this triangle here, right? So first thing we need to do is we need to find the area of the sector, the pie slice, right? And then subtract off the triangle. That's going to give us the area of this thin little region, which we call a segment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this technique of just thinking of the fraction of the whole area. I'm going to say 30 divided by 360 times pi r squared. So pi times 8 squared. Okay, this reduces to 1 12th. And this is 64, so we have 1 12th times pi times 64. Of course, anything divided by, you know, 1 is itself, so I'm just kind of making it so that everything lines up a little bit nicer. Uh, let's see, 4 goes in here 3 times, 4 goes in here 16 times, so we're looking at 16 pi over 3 is the area of the pi slice. Now, for the area of the triangle, let's go ahead and do this a couple different ways. One way is to use that formula, 1 half side 1 times side 2 times the sine of the included angle. So in this case, it's going to be 1 half 8 times 8, times the sine of 30 degrees. Now I know from the unit circle, if you've learned about unit circle, or you can do this on your calculator, sine of 30 is a half. So this comes out to, let's see, 8 times 8 is 64. Half times a half is a fourth. The fourth of 64 is 16. So this is going to be 16 pi over 3 minus 16 yards squared. And that's the area of this thin little region. That's an exact answer. Now, Another option, okay, because I know everyone's a little bit different, you could do like we did in the last problem where we dropped an altitude, okay, and that's going to bisect the base, okay. And so let's look at this triangle here now. So this is actually going to be like this, make it a little bit bigger so we can see it. This is going to be like uh, 15 and 15 degrees, and this is going to be 8 and 8. And we can do some sine cosine tangent, some right triangle trigonometry. I'm just going to call this x. What trig function ties together opposite and hypotenuse? That's the sine, right? So I'm going to say sine of 15 degrees equals opposite over hypotenuse. Multiply both sides by 8. And that gives us 8 sine 15. Okay, so I'm just going to go to the calculator here. Let's see what 8 sine 15 is. Okay, it's 2.0. 7, okay, but I'm going to double it because I really want this whole base here, so times 2, okay, so times 2, which gives us about 4.14, okay. Now, I've got to find the height of this triangle, so what trig function, I'll just call this H, ties together this angle, uh, this side, and this side? Well, we've got adjacent and hypotenuse, that's cosine, right? So we're going to say cosine of 15 degrees is equal to H over 8, and if I multiply both sides by 8, <clears throat> that gives us the height by itself. So let's see what that is. 7.73, roughly. Okay, 7.73. So now, if we do this, we get 1 half, the base, which is 4.14, times the height, which is 7.73. See what that is. Now, see, I'm rounding, so it's going to be a little bit, a little bit off, right? So I'm getting 16.0011, which is pretty much 16, right? And so that's what we were subtracting off, the area of this triangle, to get that remaining region, which is the segment. So great job if you were able to follow all the examples in this video. If you want more practice, you say, Mario, I want to do some of these more on my own, I'll put a link to another video I did right there 
where there's some more examples and you can work through those and check your answers in that video. So follow me over there. I'll see you in that video. We'll get some more practice.